Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Um, this will be something new. Uh, I often receive a lot of packages and, uh, well, I unpack those and some are featured in a video, some are for a future project, some are just some other stuff. So I don't really show the unpacking or unboxing videos like some other YouTubers do. So I again received a lot of packages and it was like, I don't have any of my projects ready that take a lot more time to present to you. For instance, I'm doing all kinds of IP camera tests right now, stuff like that. And well, I'd still like to share a video with you guys. So I asked on my Discord what people would think about doing a unboxing video of like the packages I received. And that was an overwhelming yes. So this will be the first iteration of that. It will probably be a little bit ghetto. As you can see, the, uh, well, the IP camera hanging here. That's one of my uh, 2019 models with 4K 30 FPS and a zoom lens. It's not the same as a dedicated camera like that one, but I hope it's good enough for a top down view and some other stuff. I'll zoom into the camera. And well, first thing is um, this little tool. Uh, this is actually a professional unboxing tool. I know it's cool to use all kinds of fancy knives and stuff like that, but this thing uh, my girlfriend actually brought from her from work because uh, they're not allowed to use sharp objects anymore. There's strict company policies about that, stuff like that. And they were using these kind of things. And well, uh, she took, uh, well, she bought one for me actually. She didn't take it from work because it's actually a really handy tool. So, well, that's, uh, that's what we'll be using. So, uh, package wise, uh, this time we have, uh, let me see if I can get that somewhat in the shot. Well, oh, damn it. <laughs> this will be more like a live video than actually like a very produced video. But this time we have, um, well, a bunch of packages. I uh, tried to, uh, you know, remove my address with some old stickers and stuff like that. Uh, I really hope I got them all. I don't know. If you see one, you're lucky. Please don't share. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at these packages. I've been receiving a lot of packages because there was a, a, um, a sale on AliExpress and I'm almost often add things to my cart until there's a sale and then I buy a whole bunch. Uh, so I might get some stuff from the side too that I already unpacked before I got this idea. Um, so let's just um, start unpacking and um, well, see how that goes. So next to these unpacking videos, although I try to be very active in my Discord or the YouTube comments, maybe we could also make this a sort of Q&A video. So if you have specific questions, maybe regarding the items in the previous unboxing video or just surrounding the channel topics, ask them down in the description and maybe I can discuss those in, uh, well, the next one of these uh, videos. So this tool has several features, but one I really like is this uh, kind of hook. And if you get it in the right angle, you can actually tear open a package like this. So this one says expansion board module. Ah, okay. This is a DC DC converter, I think. Let me just open it. I'm thinking my top can need some work, but we'll see. Yeah, so this is a little DC DC module, which I'm going to use together with my uh, e-bike or e-scooter or whatever you want to call it. I have a M365 Pro. I actually bought it for this year at the LAN parties, um, but the LAN parties are canceled because of the human malware. So that sucks. Um, but this is, I believe, 60 to 63 volt in, and then it has a variable output using this pot meter here. And I haven't decided yet if I'm using 12 volt or five volt pixels, but I want to make a project where I kind of put like LEDs underneath the e-scooter because I haven't really bought it to be used on the open road where LEDs will probably be illegal. But during the LAN parties and the build up and uh, the breakdown phase and the camp sound and stuff like that, I think it could be really nice to scoot around and have some LEDs on there. 
Um, but yeah, LEDs are 5 volt or 12 volt, the addressable variant. And um, so this is a, one of the DC DC converters I get. Uh, I got, for instance, uh, yesterday. I uh, that kind of tells you how many packages I get. I actually got this one, and let me just show you up close over there. There we go. So this is a lot beefier one in regards to heatsink and stuff like that. And this is uh, 60 watt, at, so 15 amps of 5 volt. And it can also take in 60 volts. So that should be enough to take the raw battery capacity and then make it 5 volt if I'm going 5 volt pixels. Um, of course, you need all kinds of connections and I want to have a switch in there and stuff like that. But once I get to that project, I'll, I'll definitely make videos about it. So... Let's uh, let's move on. I guess this is a good way for you guys to know what kind of projects I've planned because I'm not sure I shared the e-scooter project yet. And the top cam takes a little while to adjust. So this little tool also has some uh, side blades where you can uh, cut like this kind of. Yeah. Of course, it all works better when I'm not doing it on camera. <laughs> So let's see what this is. Ah, oh, okay. ESP32 modules. Uh, I regularly use them. I sometimes blow them up. And so um, I'm working on my Quinn LED uh, DECA Plus design. And I needed some more for those. And as I said, I put them in my cart. And once there's a sale, I buy everything. Okay. This one says USB cable. Well, of course, I know what's in there. Um, but this is also one of those things, if I, basically if I misgrab a USB cable, uh, I put them in my cart and then buy them. And these are most likely from Besus. Yep. So, uh, this is, I believe iPhone. Yep. iPhone. And these are micro USB to micro, oh, uh, sorry, USB-C to USB-C. And, well, some more cables. If you're looking for phone cables, Besus makes really excellent cables. And actually, I use these together with the Ulxum, um, I believe it was Ulxum, yeah, 12-port charger. And for uh, when there's a large social gathering, I'll have that charger out. And I'll use some of these uh, smaller cables, or uh, yeah, uh, short cables, I should say. Thank you. Um, to provide a few USB-C ports, a few micro USB ports, and a few Apple uh, Lightning ports. So everyone can charge their devices instead of having a gazillion chargers there and way too long cables. And It's a, it's a thing I do. Um, let's see here. Another DC-DC converters. Let's see what these are. This one has a lot of packaging tape on there. Oh, okay. This is another one. So, this one is a 5 volt uh, to 72 volt in, and then 12 volt 1 amp out. What would I buy 1 amp out? Hmm. Not sure why I bought this one. Sometimes I forget. Um, yeah. No, let's get it out of the packaging. Okay. I am not sure what project I bought this for anymore. Um, yeah. Well, I'll figure it out later. Uh, oh, this one came with DHL today. And I'm really wondering what's inside of it. So let's check it out. If you guys have any tips for me, as I said, this is my first AliExpress haul unboxing future project, whatever I'm doing video. Uh, give me tips in the description. What the hell is this? Oh, I remember buying this. Yeah, this is um, my phone. Uh, I don't have a wallet anymore. I haven't had one for years. And I basically keep my cards and stuff like that in a phone wallet like this one. And um, 
there's some other instances like a hospital or a shopping uh, brand or whatever that also give you cards and I can't really carry them in that case. I know you can digitize them, but that also doesn't always work when there's a chip in there and stuff like that. So I was looking at cases uh, where I could put those cards. So I got this one and they actually sent it using DHL. I mean... <laughs> Why would they do that? Anyway, that's fine. I don't have to pay for that. Um, I also got this one in the mail earlier. So this has a little bit of slots here. And then it has this uh, this little mechanism to get the cards out. Because I, I didn't know what I would, would have liked. So yeah, a little, uh, little card wallet. This one actually feels really high quality. So that's nice. And you can just put the cards in here. I believe you can put two per slot. And then you just have a little card carrier. I'll uh, try and make sure that everything that's featured in this video will be listed in the description. Let's uh, take a look at this one. If my camera just... There we go. This one says LED strip and it has suspicious tape over it. Like it was opened before. Maybe it was inspected by the government. Who knows? Let's just uh, get this open in a not very pretty way <laughs> but it uh, felt like it was really packed in there okay yeah well more packaging tape wow they really uh... I'm getting there but no not yet yeah okay Get that out of the way. Throw this over here. My, my trash pile is getting too big. Have to sort the trash, so I can't just throw it into generic trash. This is all plastic. Okay, LED strip. Uh, let's see what we have here. There we go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, this is one of my test strips I ordered, and I'll show you up close here. No, oh, almost. So this isn't a CCT. Well, this is a CCT LED strip, so it has warm white LEDs, but it has three types of warm white. And, well, as I've mentioned uh, previously, I buy lots of LED strips and uh, test them and things that I think are interesting or are uh, good quality, I'll make a dedicated video about. Others I might list on my website or, uh, well, I won't do anything with I don't like it. So, um, well, website I'm talking about, quinnled.info. I have lots of recommendations on there for which LED strip to buy. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, one of the things that came earlier this week this is a uh, BTF 2815 strip, but I featured one of theirs before, which had WS2815 chips. This one is the BTF version of that. It's slightly cheaper, but it has a different chip on it, and I, they basically produce the strip themselves. So I produced my power measurement chart in one of my previous videos, and I'm going to subject this one to the same tests and then add them to the chart. And we'll see how these are different. And although it says voltage, 12 volt over there, um, on the spec space, they list that this will take 24 volts. Now that's interesting. And that is certainly something we'll test once the regular tests are done. But that will probably be a separate video as uh, this one might be if I like the CRI value and, um, well, it, it basically does okay or well enough at least. Cool, yeah. Yep, so three channels of white. And if you're into mixing uh, and having different colors or sunrise effects and stuff like that, that might be interesting for you. It's analog strip, by the way, not digital. Um, okay, well, we have one package left and uh, pretty heavy so let's see what that is about oh it's again sealed I'm not sure you can see that but it was opened before has the government been inspecting my packages 
Well, probably. I get so many packages from China, they must think I'm building something. Well, I am, I am often building something, so they wouldn't even be wrong. Anyway. Ah, cool. Okay. I've been waiting for this one. Um, let's get that out of the packaging. Oh, okay. They shrink-wrapped it. Damn. Oh, nice. Let's uh, get that out. So, I'm planning on doing an upcoming video about LED cabling. And instead of just telling you what cable to get and uh, stuff like that, LED cabling is actually quite a complex topic to start with. Once you figure it out, it's not that complex anymore, but I can understand why it's daunting for a lot of people um, to figure out what kind of cable they need for their projects. But next to the diameter of their cable and how much copper there should be in there and stuff like that, um, one of the things that's often overlooked, including my me, is the aesthetics. So you have your controller and you have your LED lights and, um, well, you want it to look nice because often the cable might be visible. So what we have here, and let me zoom in a little bit again, is basically braided cable and this is a three strand variety. So there's three 0 0.75 millimeter cables in there. I believe that's AWG 18. Not 100% sure, but this would be suitable for digital LED strips, so addressable LEDs, because it has three um, conductors in there instead of two. Now, prior this week, whoop, I got this cable too. Uh, oh, wow, that looks a bit horrible on that camera. Uh, let me show you over here again. So this is a two conductor cable, also 0 0.75 millimeter, so AWG18, I believe, 18 gauge. And uh, this is purple and yellow, just, you know, I had to find some colors and I thought those were nice and funky. And yeah, so this is prettier LED cabling. I guess you could call it also from AliExpress and um, yeah, I just wanted to test them out. So I ordered a bunch and if I like it and uh, it, I can find a good use for them or a good showcase, I will probably make a dedicated video about these. But again, as I said, everything I've shown will be in the description. Um, cool. I like it. This one, this one's really nice. They, have, they, they even have variants that look like old rope and or pendant light rope and stuff like that. So, cool. Okay. Um, so, I talked a little bit about the e-scooter project. I have some more things that came in for that uh, recently. So, let me just show you those. Uh, no, not that one. Nope. Okay. So I also got some of these. These are basically inline fuse holders. Uh, so you can have a positive line and then just use a little fuse that goes in here. I can't see it. Okay. There we go. Oh, comes with a little cap, probably to make it sort of watertight. I, don't know. I wouldn't submerge it, but it would probably, uh, yeah. It's it probably rainproof. Anyway, it's not for outside in my use case anyway. Um, but it's a little positive wire where you then add a fuse to it. So you have a fused connection instead of a non-fused connection. And when you're working, especially with 5 volts and like 10 or 15 amps, uh, yeah, I like having fuses in my stuff. <laughs> so I got that for that project. And this is also a LED strip. So I'm slowly procuring all the uh, items I need. This is WS2815 because I know the char characteristics of that. And the thing is with this one is that it is IP65 coded. So it has the epoxy on the top. I'll, uh, I'll show you over here. 
Nope. Yeah, so it has the epoxy coating on the top instead of being a bare LED. Um, yeah, I guess I can show you from this one. Uh, oh, no, oh, 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 moving all the cameras and stuff, you know. So that's a bare LED, and this is IP65 coated, so it has the epoxy on top. And if I'm putting this on an e-scooter, uh, well, if I would ever drive it outside or it would get wet, well, without any protection on there, um, well, it would short out the LEDs and probably the fuse, which I have these things for, uh, would pop. But uh, with the epoxy coating on there, it's coated and the rain well, won't damage it that quickly. It's not fully weather weatherproofed like a silicon sealed version, but that has its own downsides like no cooling and stuff like that. So I went for the epoxy version. Okay, I have no clue how long I've been recording. Well, I have because I just looked. It is 21 minutes. Uh, I'm probably going to edit this down a little bit, but yeah. Unboxing stuff I buy for my projects from AliExpress or Banggood or Amazon or any other shop, actually. Um, let me know what you think about these kind of videos. They're probably going to be a bit long. As I said, if you have questions for the next video you'd like me to discuss, let me know. And uh, if you have any questions about the projects I'm doing, although I probably won't tell you everything yet because those are pro projects in progress. So... Most often, I don't know all the details yet either. Um, yeah. I uh, I mean, I like talking to the camera and then seeing what you guys know, uh, uh, think of it. So, yeah, I'm just going to end it here. Um, let me know what you think. It's a new concept. I'll, I'll try to improve the visuals of it. And uh, as I said, if you saw something, you'd think, oh, nice. I've been looking for that, too. I'll have it linked in the description. I don't know if I'll be able to find this thing, but um, yeah, I'll try. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.